Welcome back to the kitchen everyone, this is Stefan on the French Cooking Academy and this week we're going to be learning about almond cream which is a filling that is widely used uh, in the world of baking and pastries. Now I like to call this really the, the baker's beginner's best friend because that thing is so easy to make, it's fast, it literally takes two minutes <laughs> something like it to make, two minutes, two or three minutes okay to make and this is what you're going to find in your almond croissant and the croissant almond, and that kind of almond filling you get in the croissant, this is it. You can find it in the famous pear and almond tart that we're going to do today, okay? You can also find it with apricot and almond tart. You can use it for the king cake in France. There's a zillion use for that filling. And best of all, honestly, if you like almonds, this is so addictive. There's no way around it. You have to know how to make it. Let's go. And now let's start making this almond cream. So the focus of this lesson is really the almond cream and the ingredients for the almond cream are here. And we're going to be using butter, ground almond or almond meal, uh, doesn't matter how you call it, some confectionery sugar or icing sugar and this powder sugar, eggs, we're going to have some vanilla flavoring and some bitter almond extract. Of course, because this is a filling, you're going to need to have some kind of tart base to work with or even a piece of puff pastry. And like two layers, even two rectangles of puff pastry, you're going to put the almond cream, put the other layer of puff pastry on top and cook this as is. Okay, that's the prerequisite. This is just a filling. It's not a cake in any shape or form. So here I've got my tart base. And uh, what I find interesting now more and more, instead of trying to make a picture perfect cake all the time, I'm more into trying to minimize the uh, leftover of anything, not throwing away. So that's what I've got left from all of the dough that I had. And from a standard recipe you can find on, on my channel, I'll put a link in the video description. And what I'm doing like they used to do in the old days, I'm making a tart, right? The tart is what everybody does. I'm making a tart, you know, oh, that's great, we've got a tart. If you don't have much dough left, what used to be done in the days, okay, so here you had the tart, then they would go and make a tartlet, and if you don't even have that, you go to make these, the barquet. Sorry, there you go. These ones are almost totally gone from the culinary landscape. It is crazy. I really only can find those in France, and these used to be, you know, a standard thing. You know, have buffet with not only the main tart like we always do, but all this little finger food. You know, imagine this thing. And you can pick it up and, whoop, you know, just eat it. So what we're going to do here, I'm going to show you, we're going to make a tart with the pear and almonds. I'm going to make a tartlet and we can even use the almond filling as is. That's why I'm telling you this thing is so versatile. So we're just going to put some almond cream on here and then cook it. And you will see we have some kind of almond barquet. How delicious is this? Okay, so that's just to give you the review. So now let's dive in and let me show you how to make that special almond cream. Now to make your almond cream, all what you're going to need uh, is one of these uh, containers. I like one with the, the flat bottom here and of course a whisk. Now there is a secret actually to make that almond cream and get it right all the time. And I know a lot of people tend to get it wrong because it becomes grainy and people get scared like, oh, why is my, uh, you know, my cream getting grainy all the time? And you know what the secret is? Temperature. It is that simple. If your bowl or your butter or the other ingredients are too cold, especially the eggs, the butter is going to solidify and create these little grains. The eggs have to be at room temperature. And actually, eggs don't belong in the fridge. That's a strange thing we have always. The reflex, you know. Have you ever seen eggs in a shop stored in the fridge? No, never. You know, we, we have a thing. Like, you come home and say, like, oh, let me put the eggs in the fridge. Why? And this is why a lot of pastry stuff fail, because your eggs are too cold. It's that simple. So let's start with the butter, okay? We call that the beurre pommade, which is a soft, when I say soft, it's more than soft. You see how it is? That's the consistency you need. All of the measurement, of course, will be in the video description, but this recipe is super easy to remember. 100 grams of butter, 100 grams of almond meal, 100 grams of sugar, and 100 grams of eggs. It's just by the hundred. That's it, I'll put the conversion in the video description. So when you've got your butter, most important, it has to be that kind of consistency, right? And you need to work it, warm it up, so that it gets that kind of, you know, not liquid, but really, really soft. That's super important. Really, really, really soft, like that, all right? Immediately after, 
you can start to add your sugar in. There's no real rule. And slowly, you're going to cream your butter with the sugar. And slowly, you will see, you're going to have to use some elbow grease and make sure you get that cream going. So don't be shy, because this is a cream that needs some energy into it, okay? That's what I've got. You see that creaminess? That's what you want to have. You need to work it really well. All right, so let's stop for a sec. I really want you to see the consistency because that's crucial for that thing. You see, if I put this on my spatula, you see, the, this is how soft that thing is. All right, it's a really, really soft mixture. And now comes the most crucial part. It is adding the eggs. Now the eggs, two eggs, they have to be 50 grams each. You can make Make sure to actually kind of measure. And I'm using these takeaway plastic box because they're so useful to reuse, especially when it comes to pastry. Okay, and from here, this is where disaster can happen most of the time. You break your eggs and you have to emulsify the butter and the sugar with your eggs together. Okay, and that's gonna take some elbow grease, but if the temperature is right, Look at this, you see, I've got a cream already. And that's, if my eggs were too, if my eggs were too uh, cold, that would be bad. So here we're gonna emulsify, meaning whisking well until we got a white mix like this. And then finally, we can start to add the almond meal and the flavoring. All right, I've readjusted the camera because I've been beating like a <laughs> mad person. So, okay, so, the taste, you can use rum, a tablespoon of rum. I'm using a little bit of vanilla essence and this is the almond extract. This is basically a tiny weeny drop of it. You see, like this is barely a drop because that thing is like so strong. If you put too much, everything is ruined. So same thing here. Okay, when you get the flavoring, you're gonna simply put the almond meal and look at that. Okay, you've got your almond cream. That is what's called the almond cream. That's magic kind of feeling. In the culinary schools, what they do is a little extra is to add 15 grams of flour to make the whole mix really set together to avoid that it's separate or anything like this and it's gonna be cooking a bit like a cake. Just 15 grams. Okay, and we're done. Let me show you the result. And that's it. We are finished, we've done the mix. It has to be used absolutely immediately. And so this is the kind of paste that you have. And I'm gonna put this in a piping bag and immediately we're gonna make our tart. As we would say, it's in the bag, as you can see here. So I've got my piping bag and basically now you just need to play around. I've got my, my cream in there. So I've got a tart here, for instance, a simple example. And what I'm gonna do basically, as best as I can, and I'm gonna to try to make a little filling there, so I'm going to use all of the base and make that little spiral of cream. Once I've got this, it's just to make sure I've got an even layer. I'm going to fill the little gap with a spatula. All done. So I've evened out everything and don't worry, this grows when it cooks, a bit like a cake. So what I'm going to do here, I've got pears that I bought, like the store-bought kind of pears, and I'm going to start to put some pears on there. I to put them straight and I'm gonna arrange there like this a bit everywhere. Now I'm all done and the main tart here, this is the classic pear and almond tart. Huh? So I've got, as you can see, a little tart pan. I've tried to cramp as many of the pears and you always need to press them down huh? in, the, in the almond cream to make sure they're gonna be stuck there and that is gonna rise while you cook it. For the rest, you can make different things. You see, I've got this one here, the tartlets. You could have used half an apricot, sprinkle with sugar to caramelize, and I've put the almond cream at the bottom. And these are just a crazy experiment. I have just some almond cream without any fruit because that thing is so good. So just a little bit on here. This is totally packed with almond cream. Maybe I can create some kind of biscuit. We'll see. When you cook these, it's always at 200 degrees Celsius, which is roughly about uh, near 396, I think, Fahrenheit. And, but it's gonna depend on what you make. Okay, so baking is always very tricky. So that may take about 25, 30 minutes or more. 
The small one may only take 15 minutes, so it's up to you. Uh, cooking time will vary from 20 all the way to 40 minutes if you really have a large kind of tart, okay? So I'm gonna cook all of these, and when it's done, I'm gonna show you the result. And here we are after 40 minutes, this is the result, and this is some example of what can be done with this almond cream. Huh? So you have the standard tart, uh, it's called the poire bourdalou with the pears and the almond cream, see this nice color, you see how it, ra it rises to the top like this? Then you got the individual tartlets, and this is really my kind of invention. You see what it did? This is actually transformed in like this kind of almond biscuits, exactly what I wanted. So I think we're gonna open some of these. So last thing, of course, you need to put a glaze on this and then we're gonna wrap up the video. So what I do, I take a good old, uh, how do you call that, like maple syrup on a uh, kitchen brush, whatever it's called. Uh, and I'm gonna just gently apply that mixture all over the pear, all over the almonds to basically glaze and to avoid that anything, uh, you know, you don't want things to dry. Uh, so very quickly, as soon as it's kind of ready and cooked, we do the glazing. Uh, so you're gonna do this on everything, but you get the idea, glazing everywhere. Okay, so it's been glazed and it's all good and sound. I've changed, I've took another one that was less symmetrical. I'm gonna keep the symmetrical for the picture. But I'm sure you're curious, uh, how does it look inside? Okay, so I don't know, should we cut it that way? Or should we cut it that way, maybe that way? Against the grain or maybe halfway? Okay, so let me try to cut in, in there. And so that we can see, I'm gonna put this on the side here. And there we have it. See, so we've got this layer of, of cream there. And really, if we cut, it's all very crunchy. So let me try one piece in here. Okay, so you can see, just let, let you have a look there before I'm digging in. I think the pear is really the perfect match with almonds. Mm. And that homemade short crust there, it brings that kind of bisticky, biscuity kind of feel. Absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So just I'm putting it back there. Now let's have a look at our second thing, like this uh, little biscuit. Now let's have a quick bite uh, in this one. So this is like the, <laughs> the other invention. You know what? Finger food. You can pick it up. Ah, you see? Now that's more like it. That's just the almond cream. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Now no, no we're talking. And that's it. That's finished my video for the week with the almond cream. And look at these examples, what we can do with this. And the classic pear and almond tart called the tarte bourdalou uh, in, in French, tartlets little biscuits, and you can come up with your own idea. It is absolutely beautiful. My biggest advice, use lots and lots of almond cream in the desserts. Otherwise, you're gonna miss out on that superb kind of almond cream effect. But well, I hope you enjoyed this video for this week, and I hope you're gonna try this recipe at home because it's really worth it. As always, if you want to make something with it, you come up with your own version of your cake with the almond cream, post your pictures on Instagram, hashtag French Cook Academy. For all of you that wants to follow me, you can do this. Of course, Facebook, Instagram, you can become a patron on my Patreon page. And don't forget these techniques, like this, the almond cream, are part of the school we have. All the little French culinary techniques are part of the online culinary school. If you want to join, we've got more than almost 800 students at the moment. So don't miss out and join to learn much more about French cooking. I'll see you all next week for a beautiful French recipe again. Take care all, bye bye.